What is going on, Vikings fans? KJ Osborne, the wide receiver out of the University of Miami, joins the show. We were talking a little bit before. The last time I talked to you was draft day, and you were you were pretty excited being a fifth round selection for the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, for sure. I'm I'm still living it up. This has been great. So a couple months later, you make the roster. And Rick Spielman says in training camp, there's a good chance you win the punt return and kick return job. And that's exactly what happened. And you did it week one against the Green Bay Packers. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to get some more opportunities. What do you bring to that side of the field on special teams when it comes to returning kicks, returning punts? What, what kind of abilities do you have to, to keep that job for the rest of the season? Well, I feel like I bring, you know, I can secure the catch, first of all, you know, uh, I take a lot of pride in, you know, the team trusts me to be out there. I'm the first person to touch the ball, kick return, punt return. That's something I take a lot of pride in. Um, and I can be a spark play, you know, with no fans. Um, you know, I can create a big play, you know, for our team, putting our offense in great field position, um, rather it be kick return, punt return, and uh, getting a chance to score a touchdown. So it's something I take a lot of pride in. So you won the special teams job, as we said, but you're also a big bodied wide receiver who had a huge season at the University of Miami last year. What do you bring to that side of the ball? I feel like I'm a smart player, um, very versatile. Um, I can play inside, I can play outside, uh, whether it be in our offense, X, Z, F, um, a guy that you know can, can go in at, at any position um, and I'm always ready. So uh, I feel like very versatile, I can stretch the field. A lot of new players in the Vikings wide receiver room, and it seems like you guys have a tight-knit group, uh, Justin Jefferson being a, a vocal rookie and, and yourself as well. What's the vibe like in that wide receiver room so far? Oh, it's great, man. It's great. It's a, it's a lot of smiles, laughing. Obviously, you know, when it's time for business, you know, we're going, but um, it's great. You know, I think we got a great group of vets in, in Adam and Tajay. You know, uh, BC got a year under him, and uh, even Beebs, you know, guys, you know, uh, I ask those guys questions all the time. Uh, just being able to watch Adam go to work every day, being able to ask him questions. Um, we have a, a fantastic coach. Um, so like I said, it's a lot of fun, um, definitely a lot of learning, and uh, I'm getting better every day for sure. Yeah, BC Johnson told us a few weeks ago that you have just been asking awesome questions, and, and he's the guy who, like, really took pride in going home every night, learning the playbook. That's how he made the roster. What has it been like learning an NFL playbook compared to uh, being a college athlete? Uh, for myself, uh, it wasn't too difficult as far as the concepts. It's the the detail of the play. You know, um, you know, if I'm a I'm a straight line guy, if you tell me a 12 yard curl, I'm gonna run you a 12 yard curl. But then as you kind of get into it, you know, they want you at a spot or they want you, you know, just something where you have to, you know, take the reps to do it. So um, just going through training camp, you know, getting those, you know, mistakes out or you know, uh, going through those reps. Um, it was really good for me. Um, and again, I'm, I'm I'm still learning every day, um, preparing every day, asking questions. So um, I can feel myself learning and feel myself getting better. So um, I love that. The offensive coordinator, Gary Kubiak, has been doing this for like 25 years. He's a calming presence. Uh, what's it been like learning his offense this year? It's been great. Um, coach Kubiak, I feel like, is a, is a great coach. Um, you know, he, he demands a lot from us every day, makes it, makes it hard on ourselves. Um, and I, I feel like it's great. You know, he's a, a, a mastermind. You know, he's super smart, which is, which, is, uh, which is really cool to see. You know, again, a guy I can ask questions and things like that. Uh, he moves us around, so it's been fun. At the University of Miami last year, you had five touchdowns, over 500 yards. But I want to go back a little bit. A lot of people don't realize you were at the University of Buffalo and you had a monster junior season for over like 800 yards, seven touchdowns. What kind of played into your decision to transfer over to Miami and, and now you're an NFL player? I feel like uh, being able to go play on a big time stage, you know, at the University of Miami, um, you know, just getting that exposure, playing in the ACC. Um, you know, my quarterback left Buffalo. I think that uh, that was a decision um, that I had to make. Um, but mostly, you know, just, just being able to play on a big time stage, you know, to prove that, you know, I can play on, on, on the big time stage. Also off the field, you have a cool kind of story. Uh, you were like an all honorable uh, mention when it comes to your your smarts and having a high GPA, but you study criminal justice and you're pursuing a master's degree, I hear? Yes, sir. And what do you plan to do with that? Uh, right now, my plan is to be in like one of the services, like the FBI or Secret Service or something like that. Um, so that's, that's what I'm pursuing. I'll finish that in the offseason. 
Dude, that's so awesome. You, you, you rarely hear NFL players who are trying to go and, and work in the FBI someday. <laughs> it's definitely a cool profession. I'm, uh, I'm excited for it. Heading into week two, you play the Colts, and safe to say the Vikings offense isn't satisfied with the performance that was put out there week one. How do you think you can improve and, and kind of make your impact on the Vikings offense going forward? Uh, just being locked in and, and coming in and, you know, uh, like I said, being hard on ourselves, you know, focusing in on the details, you know, um, you know, embracing my role and, and what can I do better, you know, rather that be punt return, kick return, making good decisions, making spark plays. Again, there's no fans. So, you know, bringing spark to, you know, um, you know, our team, rather that be, you know, on the scout team or in the reps when I get the offense. Um, I feel like just, you know, embracing my role, you know, being prepared, you know, if I can get it thrown in there any minute. Um, so you just uh, just locking down and, and laser focus. When you're in the huddle, what's it like to hear from Kirk Cousins? I know he has a, a cool kind of leadership factor. He, he like turns into a different person on game day is what I hear. Yeah, no, Kirk, Kirk's a great guy. Um, obviously, you know, from Michigan and things like that. But it, it feels great being in the huddle with him. You know, when I'm in the huddle in there, you know, with the ones and things like that, um, you know, at first you get a little, little tingly, you know, like, you know, this is the NFL. But after a minute, you know, uh, it gets normal. But obviously a blessing and um, it's time to go to work. Are you ready to to have a big impact on this team this year? What are your expectations going forward? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, again, I, I prepare like, you know, I get as many reps as Adam Thielen. Uh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm prepared. You know, I'm, I'm excited to get the ball in my hands. I only got one opportunity for punt return and uh, got a couple for kick return. But you know, I'm excited to get the ball in my hands, you know, uh, show people what I can do. Cordaro Patterson was the Vikings kick and punt returner for a long time here. I see a lot of similarities from like body size, speed, the things you can do on special teams. Are you, are you familiar with the, with his game? I am. Um, I've, I've heard a couple of things about him uh, from Adam, you know, when Adam was telling me when he was good here. Friends. They're good friends. And the, and the things that he can do, uh, obviously, you know, again, very fast, uh, taller, bigger dude. Um, so definitely that's some, somebody that I've, that I've looked at as well as uh, uh, Cheryl's. Um, I've looked at him as well, and um, I have some goals. Last question. Are there any players around the NFL that, that you really look up to and try to model your game after? Oh, man, it's a, it's a couple. You know, I'm a, as a, obviously I'm a receiver, so I'm a football freak. Uh, some of my, name out there. Uh, some of my favorites are um, Mari Cooper, um, Devontae Adams. I feel like he's really good at his craft. Um, Diggs and, and Adam were, were some were guys that, you know, I've always looked up to. Um, and that's why it's so great being able to, you know, now actually work with Adam and see him go to work every day. You know, so much respect for him. Um, Sammy Watkins is another guy, you know, um, I look at in, uh, in, in Jarvis Landry. Those kind of guys, um, for me, off the top of my head, you know, guys I, I really look at studying the offseason. And, again, um, having a relationship with Adam now is, is, is awesome. I love how many times you mention Adam because it's just amazing to see the player he's become from – where he started in, right. in 2013. So uh, great aspirations for you and wish you the best of luck this year and, and go beat the Colts. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.